artificial intelligence is going to take over the world. Or more practically, artificial intelligence, AI, will soon become so commonplace in our daily lives, we won't even notice it. From choosing the best route to avoid traffic, or whether or not you should have a medical procedure, it could make the difference between making the start of a family member's theatrical or sporting debut or not. Or whether or not you still have tonsils. We need to trust that AI can make the decisions on our behalf. We need to re realize whether it is reliable, possesses its claimed abilities, and is not going to be biased. In order to be comfortable with AI in our lives, we need to be able to trust that it can make these decisions for us. Politicians, organizations, and researchers are becoming scared by this loss of decision-making. So they're calling for legislation and think tanks. They're asking for responsible, inclusive, and trustworthy AI, which is a really easy argument to subscribe to. Who wouldn't want such systems? But can we ever create such useful systems? Everyday AI is simply lines of computer code that finds patterns in the data given to it. It doesn't have a clue what it is to be responsible, inclusive, and trustworthy. So maybe it's the people who create AI, such as me, that need to be responsible, inclusive, and trustworthy. But even if we subscribe to this viewpoint, that's not enough. You see, the data that we feed to our AI might be rubbish, or it might learn poorly. The data may be corrupted, accidentally or deliberately. It may contain bias or outdated viewpoints that we no longer subscribe to. Thus, it's not enough for AI researchers to be inherently good. The AI could still lo learn the wrong things. AI must be able to explain its decisions. So rather than being scared of AI, or waiting for some government tick of approval that might not be possible, we should get AI to do the explaining itself. This will give us AI that can be understood, is transparent, and is trustworthy. The general name for such AI is explainable. AI, which is shortened to the abbreviation XAI. We're using the second letter of explainable gives a much more futuristic acronym than EAI. <laughs> Humans have been interested in developing and understanding AI since the dawn of computers, where we've noticed a really interesting trade-off between the effectiveness of AI and the explainability of AI. Effectiveness is often associated with complexity, which reduces the explainability. Explainability is often associated with human readable explanations, which are often not that effective. We need to decide how much performance we are prepared to sacrifice for explainability. And each AI we create has different amounts of explainability, which gives this trade-off between explainability and performance. AI isn't a single topic. In fact, it's not a multi-headed beast. It's lots of beasts, some with lots of heads. And when people started developing this AI, they were more interested in it being effective rather than it being explaining what it's going to do. And over the decades of developing AI, 
we've had many different reasons and ideas of where intelligence arises from, from models of the neurons in the brain to Darwinian ideas of how intelligence has evolved over the centuries, or how humans manipulate symbols in order to learn, such as numbers and alphabets. So we want AI that we can understand and maybe even reason with. I started my AI research at British Steel, where they need to make flat steel. As car manufacturers, they don't like bumpy bonnets. I quickly learned that if I was going to ask a steelmaker to change a decade-old practice based on the recommendation of a newfangled AI, that it better be able to explain why. Wouldn't it be good if an AI could explain its decisions, such as choosing a team member for a role? We appointed them because they had great references. They had wonderful experience, and they had knowledge suited to the role. Wouldn't it be even better if we could start reasoning with the AI to get it to change its decisions, such as a rejected mortgage application. Well, if you drank less barista coffee, we'd allow the loan. This is where our journey into explainable AI splits into two different pathways. The first pathway is most commonly traveled, where the AI comes first and the explanation comes second. The second pathway is where the explanation and the AI comes together. Such a system is symbolic learning, where the letters D-O-G form the symbol dog, which we can then associate with the fluffy object in the image. And symbols are great. They allow us to manipulate and change the reasoning in the system. And you can guess that this second pathway is where my research has gone down. Unfortunately, this pathway is not the path to riches, fame, and glory. At the moment, symbolic AI is overwhelmed by the sheer size of the data. Evolutionary symbolic systems, if they took each pixel in an image as a symbol, they would not be able to link the input to the output in an end-to-end -end manner. So future AI seeks to intertwine these paths so that we can have systems that can cope with large amounts of data and still give us explanations. One such system is neurosymbolic learning that uses neural networks to identify features that are then passed to the symbolic system that combines them in order to identify an object in an image such as a fluffy dog. An alternative is to evolve symbols from simple examples, such as identifying cat versus dog noses. It can then take these building blocks and build from more complex examples. An analogy is teaching children about animals by reading them old MacDonald had a farm rather than the Encyclopedia Britannica. So please start thinking about explainable AI. The next time a smart app suggests a song for you to listen to, or a TV show to stream, or a path to take on your journey, think about the how and why that decision was made. Would you want to question it? Would you want to change it? If not, are there any decisions where you would like to be able to change it? If I had an x-ray of a suspicious lump, I'd happily ask an AI for a second opinion. But if it recommended the removal of a body part, I'd like it to be able to explain why. <laughs> the next time an individual or an organization thinks to regulate AI on your behalf, question them. 
do they really understand the AI beast that they're trying to cage? Is it even possible to understand the data or the solution that is being produced that may be beyond human comprehension? Is it okay if the explanation is secondary? Or do we need to explain and understand the AI as it is being developed so we can change it at any point? And finally, how much performance are we prepared to sacrifice in order to be able to get this explanation? AI exists and is only going to get more impressive. It's like glimpsing the top of a very big mountain, which is a bit scary. Why did humans climb Mount Everest? Because it's there. Why will humans build super intelligent AI? Because they can. It's up to us to guide them, especially in how explainable they are. AI is happening everywhere. And I am committed that it can explain itself when needed.